Yes, but you need these things. For more info, watch the whole video. Balloon's tower defense has 23 towers, but actually, Ninja Kiwi want to remove 22 of them. It's my mission to find the one tower that can beat the game by itself. I'm confident in the wizard monkey. He can solo the game all by himself, with himself. I've tried once before to beat the game with literally one tower. You can't do it. They get lonely, develop depression, and spend all their day watching YouTube videos. Anyway, this time I'm using multiple of the same tower. You may notice they have different hats on. They are both wizards, but they can still be unique. The only thing that will make this challenge possible is the three different upgrade paths. Wizards can upgrade to become Archmages, become Death, the Destroyer of Worlds, or become Death, the Raiser of the Dead. Wind, Fire, Necromancy. The three elements. The two wizards were doing great. The top one is becoming a Fire Wizard. Wait, why does the water have bubbles coming up? That means someone is drowning. The fire and Wind Wizards both have proper hats now. Nothing can stop them. Oh no, the per Purples! Wizards can't pop purples! How many times do I have to make this mistake? The first time I did this, I learned that wizards can't solo levels. But after hundreds of hours, wait really? Damn, that's a lot. I have found a wizard that can pop purples technically, but I need more cash. So I sold my wind wizard and converted the fire guy into a necromancy wizard who can kill balloons and summon zombie balloons to kill them all. So my wizards aren't doing anything, it's just balloons killing balloons. Is this genocide, filicide, or suicide? It's poolside, and also homicide. Someone is dying in there. This went on until the round 40 Moab got decimated. VICTORY! But actually, that was only a beginner map on easy mode. To truly test if one tower can beat balloons, I need to beat an expert map on hard mode, which is roughly 3000% harder. I'm choosing the map quad in honor of my favorite dinosaur. I only get 100 lives on hard and I'm already losing some. I'm using wizards again. My plan is to buy the wall of fire, the best upgrade early game. So I used my cookie clicker tactics to get it as soon as possible. Now nothing Nothing will get past him, but they will get past him. That's a problem. I only have seven lives left. Come on, buy the firewall. Got it. Five lives, four lives. Attack! Two, one life left. Go, go. No, there's one red balloon. I lost by a single balloon. I tried again with three wizards and lost. Four wizards and lost. If I had a dollar for every time I realized wizards can't solo balloons, I'd have $17. Take that how you will. But the druids, I haven't failed with these guys yet. I'm intentionally losing lives to save up money for an amazing druid upgrade. If I had a dollar for every time I realized intentionally losing lives was a bad idea, I'd have $523. So I used the Duo Druo Bruos, and I saved up for the upgrade Druid of the Jungle. He sends a vine to kill balloons anywhere on the map. Then he got lightning. The other druid joined the Sith. He has now become Death, the star. Nothing can beat them. Wait, what, what is that? Oh yeah, camouflage balloons. For a tower to solo the game, they have to be able to see camouflage balloons, explode lead balloons, and pop purple balloons that are immune to magic. Druids can't see camo. Ninjas can, but they suck at popping lead. Then I tried submarines. Sometimes you just get desperate and do random things, you know? Your gameplay gives me physical pain. Oh yeah, Morgan? Well, how about this? Anyone watching this video can go into the balloon store and use code MORGAN to buy monkey money for powerful upgrades. I'm gonna make money off of you, Morgan. But I still suck at this map. Maybe I need a new one. Hmm, one of the hardest in the game is Flooded Valley. Usually I wouldn't use it, but for this challenge, it has a major advantage. Water. The pirate monkey is a powerful vessel who has become death, the destroyer of worlds. The boat monkey must be placed in water, and the only expert map with a lot of water is Flooded Valley. The boat's three upgrade paths have the carrier flagship that shoots 5,000 bullets a second, the pirate lord who can pop lead and camo, and the merchant man. Stonks, baby! But we start with two regular boats. Then by grape shot, it shoots five grapes that pops balloons, then you set them on fire. Even though this map is short, once I put cannons on the ships, no balloons could get through. They decimated up until round 40. And now once again, on an expert map, the round 40 Moab. It was exploded, but it kept coming. It's breaking open, almost there. But there are balloons inside of it. No! Defeat. Can I not beat it? Will I fail my task? Balloons? You, you will, will not, not defeat me. me. The Pirate Lord path doesn't only pop lead and camo, it also has an ability that hooks in Moabs and insta-kills them, winning the level. But actually, hard mode has 80 rounds, each harder than the last. We are nowhere near winning. The later rounds are incredibly hard, so we need to start farming. I got a merchant man that sells courses on selling courses. The most popular job in the world right now. I kept farming until round 50, where there are two Moabs. But I have enough boats to pop them without the ability now. I bought more merchant men. I steamrolled the next 10 levels. The good news is I have an aircraft carrier 
which sends planes around the map. Still technically only using the boat tower, not plane tower. The bad news is we're on round 63. If I had a dollar for every time a player lost on round 63, I would devalue the dollar, destabilize the economy, and plunge the world into chaos. Oh wait, that's already happening. But I restarted the level and now I can sell all my merchantmen. And finally by the pirate lord. A gargantuan ship that can take on lead and camo. And it did nothing to round 63. Okay, I tried all over again and sold them all and this time bought the carrier flagship. A huge boat with tons of planes. It doesn't see camo, but we'll get to that later. It beat round 63. Round 78. They're all camo and it did not go well. So I got the pirate lord and it did not go well. I sold all my merchantmen again and bought camo seeing aircraft carriers and it went well. Or did it? I got overconfident and put it on fast forward. Then another rush of camos came and made it through, leaving me on 29 lives. It's time for the final level, introducing the ZOMG. Pop them! Crush their skulls! Shatter their ribs! Disembowel their very souls! Victory! But actually, expert map on hard mode, that's nothing. The true test is a challenge between every other Bloons player. A race to see who can beat the level the fastest. The top times are under three minutes. I just want to get top 50%. I'm going back to boats, except in the race I can send multiple rounds at once to speed up the time. You can get overwhelmed easily, but it's working. I only have three problems. One, the boats are limited to their third tier upgrade. They can't get very strong. Two, I am out of water. Three, I am already over three minutes. Four, I can't count. And when I had rounds 40 to 54 all on the screen at once, I knew I couldn't win. Unless I did something a little different. The boat summoned planes before, so I can just summon planes now, right? Basically a one tower. With my blade and cheating, I had a time of nine minutes. Place number 8,000. Oh god. Wait, that's top 25%? What is wrong with everyone else? That means I win. But actually, we all know the true test is a balloons boss battle. The strongest enemy in the game. Can a single tower beat a balloon with millions of health? Yeah! Oh, it's Dread Balloon. That's the one boss a single tower literally cannot beat. The towers are separated into four groups. Primary, Military, Magic, Support. And the Dread Balloon rotates being immune to each type. I can't do it. I have lost on my mission. Damn it. I... I give up. We are what we overcome. There is one tower that doesn't have any damage type. Of course, a hero. Other than towers, there are heroes like Quincy, who's never missed a single shot. If you say otherwise, his dad will sue you. Benjamin, who makes money and he has never scammed anyone. If you say otherwise, he will hack you. Adora, who is the most powerful hero. If you say otherwise, I will ban you from my comment section like I do with anyone who mentions alphabet aerobics. Anyway, I chose Adora to beat the boss and I can't afford her, so I lose immediately. That was fun while it lasted. Bye. But actually, this video is entertaining, but as some feedback, it gets a bit stale hearing the same joke 10 times within 20 minutes. Okay, fine. I'll stop saying, but actually. You get end of round money regardless of popping balloons, so I could afford her on round two and she started winning. The thing with heroes is you can only place one, so Adora is truly alone here. I can't place anything else. But actually! Adora is a super monkey herself. Trust me, it's in the lore. And if it isn't, add it to the lore. So I can also place super monkeys. They're just here to pop camo balloons. Which she's failing miserably at. He's just missing them. The boss is here. Go Adora, kill it with your rays of light. She's dealing some damage, not enough, but her true strength comes with her sacrifice ability. I can sacrifice other towers to give her XP and power. Eat a banana farm and become death, the destroyer of dread blue. The camos were getting through, so I bought a ninja, which kind of ruins the whole video. Ignore that spike factory. Uh, ignore everything on the screen. You aren't watching a YouTube video. You're in a tropical paradise eating shrimp, which you're endangered, you monster. Monster? All right, I'm trying again with a slight change to the rules. We figured out you can beat a normal level with only one tower kind, but a boss balloon, you need to farm cash. Or you could use cash drops bought from the store using code Morgan. But I'm going to allow banana farms so that I have enough money to max the level Adora. I just want to see if she can solo the boss at her full power. And also alchemists and villagers. <clears throat> Did you know Adora wants it a triple backflip? It's in the lore. With the boss here, I'm going to be patient and keep buying more farms. I'll need 600,000 cash for Adora's farm. Final upgrade. I just have to beat the first tier boss before round 60. The strategy is to sacrifice an expensive tower like Super Monkey to Adora to power her up, then use her other two abilities dealing massive damage. When I was going for the top leaderboard spots, I've restarted hours of progress because I was 17 milliseconds behind. Spending 6 minutes here feels so wrong, but all I care about here is the victory. I spent some of the money sacrificing and now Adora is level 16 out of 20. She will kill the boss in time. Did you know Dragoon makes the best YouTube videos?
videos, it's in the law. And there we go, Adora defeated the first tier boss. I have so many farms, so badly done, that even though I know how to properly farm, I'm not in physical pain from a video game. I refuse, it's fine. But if anyone knows Guanium, Mr. Pytrek, or YTC Jam, please tell them that I'll hire them for professional coaching on boss fights. Adora is level 20. She beat the tier 2 boss because she is now max level. But actually, this is only the beginning. Sure, she is level 20 out of 20, but Adora has a secret upgrade that costs 600,000 cash and is linked to the super monkeys. It's all in the lore. It makes sense. Trust. I kept farming until the third tier. Then Adora shot 15 lasers and summoned a ball of light to attack it, and I kept farming. Look at the screen right now. All these lasers are from one unit, and this isn't even her final form. The only thing holding me back is my bad farming. I don't have enough money. Maybe Morgan was right? If you don't know who Morgan is and are confused, you have some lore to catch up on. I'm not repeating myself, but actually I will. Suck it, ventilator. Morgan once commented on a video of someone trying to solve a balloons challenge. He said the YouTuber failing caused him physical pain. I therefore assume Morgan has never made a mistake in anything ever, and the mere concept of error causes him pain. He traverses the world showing us fools how to do everything with perfection, and judges all that is incorrect. It's all in the lore. You just have to read the lore. If I had a dollar for everyone who didn't understand the lore, I'd have $596,714. Anyway, farming. I held out as long as possible, but on round 95, I couldn't wait any longer. I sold everything. Yes, I just barely have enough to buy the true sun god, which exalts Adora to her final most powerful form. She casts hundreds of rays of light, shredding through the boss. Slowly, too slowly, she lost. Adora cannot solo a boss, which means no tower can. You can't beat balloons with only one tower. Unless, unless I do another one of those things that Ventilator hates. You can't beat balloons tower defense with one tower. But actually, bitches! I never said balloons tower defense six. I just said balloons tower defense. The true test is can you beat balloons tower defense, the original, with one tower? The only towers here are Dart Monkey, Tax Shooter, Ice, Bomb, and Super, and I'm going with the OG. I'll prove that Dart Monkey never needed help. He could have done it all on his own. I was winning, but then the game started speaking to me. Hope you're ready. What does that mean? In this game, there aren't three powerful upgrade paths. There are simply two upgrades, Piercing Darts and Long Range. I can't get any super powerful Dart Monkeys. I just have to get a lot of them. Ice Towers work best with Bomb Towers nearby. The game is trying to get me to use other towers. How dare you? Tower upgrades are usually a better option than just adding more towers. Do not question my strategy. Now it's telling me to use the super monkey. What the hell? This game was made 16 years ago. How did it know I would attempt with only one tower? And then it scared me by saying, I've tried and you can't beat the game using only tack towers. You underestimate my power for I know of the death corridor technique. Every monkey can fire at this stretch of track. Nothing will get past. Even this guy guarding the exit. They all contribute to the death corridor. These levels are only getting harder. You do not understand! This corridor has become death, destroyer of blues, purveyor of hope, savior of dragoon, villain to Morgan, ender of videos!